All right, Let's ready? Get it up, bud. We're doing it right. Oh! oh. Mr. Merck, I think I see what you got from here. Oh, I'm getting the wrong line. <laughs> is it in the hole? It is not in the hole. It is right there. You tell me if you... Uh... Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> So, the Colorado crew and I had another fantastic hunt out at this 1860s property here in Colorado, and our day started off with a really good omen. The guys and I met up at our usual meeting spot, and a bald eagle flew right over us, and I grabbed the camera just in time to zoom in and see that it was carrying a delicious bass. So we all knew it was going to be a great day. And on our way to the property, we were greeted by a couple more good omens. Now, I was talking to some locals and I was told I should go knock on a door that has some really cool history. Now, the property dates back to the late 1800s and there's some really old buildings on the property, but in the 1950s, there was an old fruit stand there. Now, the guys and I had no idea where it was, but we eventually figured it out, so stick around. Yeah, this is why we're not bringing you anymore because you always find the first thing. Oh, that's cool. A giant piece of iron. Yeah. What do you think that is? I can't, I will not guess, but obviously, I mean, feel it, dude. It's like... Oh, that's substantial. It's substantial, yeah. It's got Let's an see, edge. See the grooves? It does have an edge. You got grooves for the grip there. Good or find. A, or a weapon. It is a weapon. Grandma's <laughs> shank. <laughs> Good find, man. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate yeah. it. All right. Well, I can't quite make out what this reads. It does say disabled American veterans, but I'm going to have to clean this up when I get home, figure out what in the world this is. So this little piece of aluminum that I thought was scrap turned out to be a really cool piece of history. So from the 1940s to the 1970s, these DAV tags, as they were called, were mailed out to every registered vehicle owner across the country, a gift from the disabled American veterans. In short, these little tags were a fundraiser for the DAV. On the backside of the tag was a miniature version of the vehicle owner's license plate. And the idea worked like this. You'd put this little tag on your keychain, and then if you ever lost your keys, anyone who found them could just drop them in a mailbox where they would get mailed to the DAV, postage guaranteed by the DAV as it reads. And from there, the DAV would then look up your home address and mail them back to you. And the idea was that the grateful owner of the keys would then make a donation to the DAV. Anyway, it's amazing how what first appears to be a piece of scrap aluminum turns out to be a really cool piece of American history. Anyway, back to the hunt. Mr. Merck, I think I see what you got from here. Yeah, you do. I was thinking we were fishing. Like what do you think? grocery store where I'm getting the wrong line. <laughs> And we're just fishing. It's a murk. Crazy about a mercury. Oh heck yeah! Oh, I'm crazy about it. What year you got? 1941 or 45? It's hard to tell from here. 40 something. 43? 43? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Good job, man. There's one there's yeah. more. Picking out the silver, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I That's sensed awesome. the tone with, with how you said that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Good, Good job, job. Man. Hey, thanks, guys. All right, out of this hole, I just popped out what I believe is an accordion reed. Let's see if we can get a note. Sometimes they'll put the note. Oh, yeah, it's still it's vibrating in my hand. That's cool. So I did get a note. It is a C sharp, better than a D flat. Oh, wait, no, it's the same note. All right, pro tip, put orange tape on your shovel. Because <laughs> when you leave it behind, it makes it a lot easier to find. I don't think Ken knows I'm here. He's super focused. He's getting after that gold. We'll see how long it takes for him to notice I'm sitting right next to him. <laughs> Going after it, man. I see that. Oh. I'm ready. No, sir. After all that work, that was giving you a penny signal? Well, he's giving me like a, a weedy or an Indian head penny signal, yeah. I call them 70s friendship rings. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, well, this is pretty cool. A little piece of uh, old dish or something. I like finding stuff like this. All right. Let's see what we got down in the hole. Yeah, we'll come back. Okay. Well, it is. Almost looks like a little license plate. I don't think that's what it is. All right, well, it's some sort of decorative plate. Looks really old, very fragile. Very cool, whatever it is. Oh, oh, that work for a penny. Oh, I don't see a memorial. Oh, I got a weedy. All right, 1944. 
Go on the board with the wheat. Okay, I'm out of breath because I had to work for this. There's a ball jar lid. Have to date that later. Genuine zinc cap. Very cool. All right, jar lid. Ooh, Jeff is gonna be so upset. Jeff's over there digging a hole. He doesn't know what he's missing. Here comes, uh, here comes Ken. I told him I found something. I found a wheat penny here. Found that old jar lid here. I think we're onto a good hot spot here. Is it in the hole? It is not in the hole. It's it is right the there. You tell me if you, uh, if you can tell what that is. Well, I don't know what I'm congratulating you for, but it seems good. You might be upset. Is that an Indian? It's not, there is an Indian on it. You ready? Is it a buffalo? Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Since you haven't found one, I'll let you do the honors. Oh, goodness. See, okay. if you can get a, see if you can get a date on it. This is where I think some commerce at that old fruit stand happened. I, dude, I, if if it's legible, I can't see it. Yeah, those dates are hard to you come You could by. acid it, though. Yeah. That's awesome. Always check the back for the three legs. Three legs. For the three legs. That's cool, man. Congratulations. I'm so sorry you Stop haven't found one. Stop digging buffalo nickels. <laughs> Have you not found one yet? No, I've never dug a buffalo nickel. Pretty easy. Yeah, absolutely. Great find. Thank you. Anytime you can find a buffalo in Colorado is really cool. Absolutely. Um, it's like Spanish silver for us, isn't it? <laughs> it's like <real>. <laughs> <laughs> almost. All right, so Jeff just pulled out another lid. I like finding the tops of the, the, the porcelain those things intact. Yeah, the yeah. porcelain things. Yeah. So somebody was doing some cannon. Good job. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a hot spot here. Finding some old stuff now. We'll come back and see uh see what Ken's Kim got. Dig up grandma's brooch. Grandma's brooch. How big was that fish? It was about yay big. <laughs> this is like Suzanne Summer's thigh master here. <laughs> Barrel band. Barrel band. Cool. Somebody's excited. <laughs> What'd you get? All right, well, Jeff said he's going to let me do the honors. Yes, please. All right, here you go. I'm going to film. All right, all right, ready? Give it up, bud. We're doing it right. Oh, oh Mercury. Mercury dime. Mercury. Number two. Oh, Mercury. Girl. This is why we call him Mr. Merc. Look at that. 1944? 1944. 44D. It's 44D. There we go. You guys, you guys have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff said if it's another buffalo, he's leaving. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. Dude, no. It's what nickel size. What do you mean you don't know what it I is? I don't know what it is. It could be, it could be Jefferson. Oh, I think it is Jefferson. Wait a minute, he has braids. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a tear coming out of him. Yeah. Ken's got to bounce. That's right. It's been real. Yeah, a lot of fun, it's man. Fun. Shoot. Yeah. This weather, beautiful. You can come out here and do what we enjoy. Gosh, it's great. Absolutely. It's great. Yeah. Great homeowner. Absolutely. Totally open. Yeah. Come on out anytime. Yeah. He says, so we want to camp out here. Go for it. It was so cool. It was, was so, so cool. nice. Yeah, absolutely. Now we just got to find a hot spot. It looks like Michael's on a hot spot. We're on a hot spot for yeah. sure. I'm sitting so here. You left at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah. <I laughs> we'll be pictures. back, though. Yeah, take pictures. We're going to come no back. Pictures that didn't happen. That's right. Okay, I can't dig my target because. Jeff keeps finding stuff. You got a weedy? Yeah. 45D. Nice. Look at the back though, oh, dude. Oh, that is nice. That's one of the better backs I've seen. That's what he said. <laughs> okay, I just checked the lock on this uh, old house here. And it is open. Wow, look at that old stove. Okay, I'm putting the machine down. Let's go. I'm gonna go with you. Let's go explore. I'm gonna say 1880. Wow, this is cool. That is what's, your, old... what's your guess on the date? <sighs> Early 1900s at the... You think it's 19? Jeff said he's know, happy. I only know about this because of the bottle digger guys that we that I watch. Oh, like Tom. Duffy's Delicious wow. Drinks. Duffy's, all right, Tom. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> Help us. Seven and a half fluid ounces. Nice, Colorado. That is a cool find. That might be find of the day, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped about that. I bet. I'm now excited about I these bet. bottles. Wow. Cool find. Thanks, man. Fisher Body Corp. Fisher Body Corporation, Detroit, Michigan. So once again, what 
looked like a piece of junk turned out to be another cool piece of American history. Founded in 1908, the Fisher Body Corporation made horse-drawn carriage bodies and later began production of automobile bodies. In 1926, Fisher became a division of GM Motors. Now, while I was hoping this came from an old horse-drawn wagon, this style of body tag tells us that it came from an early 1900s automobile. Unfortunately, the tag is just too damaged to get you know, any information from it and find out what make and model it went to. It could have been a Buick or Cadillac. Either way, really cool piece, and I'm glad to have it. Okay, we had to come see the goats. We heard them this morning, kind of like a bunch of little kids. Oh, I know, I know, hi. They're awful cute. We'll come back when we can stay, okay? Okay. Oh, I just popped out this little guy. I'd say, yeah, that's an old uh, knife. Sweet, man. Yeah. That's cool. Cool. That's really neat, man. Thanks. Presto. Presto. <laughs> well, here is the wrap up. Got this neat little guy from the veterans. Sick. Right? What else do you have for us? <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> God, I just edit so much. Uh, let's see. You got this little steering wheel thing. Accordion. What key is it in? It is. That is a C sharp. <laughs> Found this down by the river. I don't know if I filmed this or not. A little pin. And uh, one buffalo nickel. Who cares about that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, one wheat penny. Fisher Body Corporation, one toothbrush. No, that's mine. And then Jeff, this massive machete here. That is just cool. It's heavy too, geez. Yeah. And I think this is the find of the day. This is Duffy's Delicious Drink. I bet it was delicious. Love the iridescent patina on there. And then Jeffrey just killed it on silver today with two Mercury Dimes, 1944 and 45. Okay. Clad quarter. Wheat penny. Cool. It was a good day.